best things about Vivian is that it lets you create those photorealistic renderings that can really beef up your proposals. Here are a couple of renderings that some Vivian users have created. Imagine adding these images to your proposal. Adios competition! But how can you create images like these? In this first of two rendering demos, I'll show you a few tips for preparing your drawing for rendering. In the second demo, I'll actually walk you through the rendering process. In Vivian, I've already set up a very basic event. I have tables, chairs, a person, and a stage. However, one of the most important things for creating great renderings is good lighting. Without enough light in the room, the image falls flat. To start off, I've put these four theater lights on a piece of truss above the stage. Using the light tool, I focus two lights over the tables and chairs, another directly at the head table, a pin spot, and the last light is focused on the podium. I've also added color and gobos, or patterns, to them using the color and gobo sections of the light tool. If I rendered this drawing right now, it would look something like this. It's pretty good, but not as stunning as it could be. And wait a second. What are these people doing? Looks like a little air guitar. Funny, they don't look like Zeppelin fans. Hmm. Let's go back and add some more lights and see what else we can uncover in the room. One of the best lights to use for a nice overall glow is the recess light, also known as a pot light. You can hang these lights without a truss. It's as if they were installed in the ceiling. You can't focus or apply color to recess lights. All you can do is set their intensity. Since we want them to be inserted on the ceiling, I'll first make sure that the height value is set near the ceiling and not on the floor. I'll press tab and then I'll enter 20 feet so the lights hang 20 feet in the air. Then I'll double click the recess light in the library browser and I'll place four of these lights around the room. Be careful not to place too many of them though, they throw a lot of light. We're just trying to add a nice glow not reproduce the pot lights that you might actually have in your venue. In the Lighting Quad tab, I'll select them all by right-clicking and choosing Select Recessed Light. Then I'll turn them on to full intensity. Notice how the beams of light appear spread out all over the room. Let's see what it looks like in the virtual view. The room now has an overall glow, which will give us a basic house lighting look, kind of like a typical ballroom. Keep in mind that you can only see the realistic picture after you render the image. And let's see what the rendering looks like now. It's quite a bit more realistic. To show off my new lighting, I also added haze in the render wizard. Haze helps highlight each beam of light, takes less time to render than smoke, and is much more compatible with pot lights than smoke. But hey, what's this? Oh man, it looks like this woman has either knocked him down in a sword fight or this is a dancing dip gone very wrong. Poor guy. I still think the rendering could be better. More dramatic. I'm going to add some more colored lights around the room, maybe light up the stage and the walls a bit. To save time, I'm not actually going to walk you through this, but as you can see, I've added some more truss and some moving lights above each table. I focus the lights on each table and on the stage by dragging them around. And I've added some colors and gobos. It's a good idea to use more than one color for contrast. Also, keep in mind that the moving and theater lights are very strong, so if you want to pin spot a table, it's a good idea to turn down their intensity to anywhere between 30 and 40 percent. You don't want to blind the guests. Whoa, looks like there's way too much light in the room for this guy. Taxi, let's see what the rendering looks like now. Much better. More color, more light, more shadows, more realistic. So I guess the moral of the story is, don't be scared of lighting. It can help make your renderings dazzle. For tips on using the Render Wizard, see the next demo on rendering. Thanks, and good luck.